so this is the, in continuation of our last activity which was about implementing basic connectivity uh, we have already done uh, basic configuration on switch s1 and s2 and we have also configured two pcs pc1 and pc2 so now let's uh, you know uh, uh, configure the management interface of switches uh, so that we can quickly connect the whole network all right so we have already done uh, configured you know both the switch s1 and s2 and pc1 and pc1 pc2 also so now let's uh, configure the management uh, interface of uh, both the switches um, so I'm going to first go to switch S1. All right. And do you remember what password we said? It was student. Oh, I... Student. Yes. So if I go to enable privilege exit mode, and we have also secured that, and the password was virtual. All right. So I'm in the privilege exit mode so i'm gonna go to the global configuration mode all right and since now uh, uh, switches are meant to basically you know uh, forward the traffic based on uh, mac addresses um, but in order to configure the switches uh, we need uh, you know uh, to configure them uh, with an ip address and they have this uh, software port which we call vlan um, so we're going to go into that interface and the command for that is interface VLAN 1. So we are in that software interface uh, to configure the IP address of the switch. And now we're going to, you know, configure this interface with an IP address. And let's, let's give the IP address 192.168.1.1. Two fifty three. All right, and then the subnet mass is going to be two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to write the no shutdown command. And the reason for for uh, you know executing the no shutdown command is to uh, basically you know uh, uh, bring the uh, the interface up. So this is the command for it. Okay, and then the exit command. And also the exit command. So I can also check if my interface is up and configured with the new IP address. So sh uh, show IP interface brief and let's see oh yes so so vlan 1 is now configured with the ip address that i gave 192.168.1.253 and it is up and you know it is configured all right so now let's quickly uh, go to uh, switch oh we need to save it copy running config to startup config enter okay and now we'll go to the switch s2 we're going to configure that one also And we're going to give this interface the IP address 192.168.1.254. And subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. All right. No shutdown. And then exit. Okay. Copy. Now exit. Copy running config to startup config. Okay. 
So we have configured both the management interfaces of switch S1 and S2. So now let's uh, check the connectivity and see if they, they have properly configured. So we're going to go to PC1 and then the command prompt and we're going to ping the switch with you know which we have configured the IP address 192.168.1.253 and oh so now it is ping so it is which means that the switch has been successfully configured so and now what about the switch s1 w2 which is s254 and let's see so now it is also we are also getting back the ping uh, response so so this is it we have successfully uh, tested the network